If you are not currently speaking up and speaking out against the anti-Semitism and the hatred of our Jewish brothers and sisters, then you are part of the problem. You see, justice will not be served until those that are unaffected are as outraged as those that are affected. So though you and I may not be affected right now, boy, we better be outraged. I spoke to one of the youngest Holocaust survivors and she reminded me that the Holocaust was created by the best brains in our world. So though you and I may not be affected right now, boy, we better be outraged. I spoke to one of the youngest Holocaust survivors and she reminded me that the Holocaust was created by the best brains in our world. The people that listened to the best music, those that read the most books, those that went to the greatest European universities. And while we hopefully are not on the brink of something as devastating as a Holocaust, the hate speech, the vitriol, the slander towards our Jewish brothers and sisters is as active and as pervasive as it's ever been. My Jewish brothers and sisters, I stand with you and I encourage everyone, even if you're not affected, to do so as well. This bad change. Sorry, bro, I'm all out, man. Man, I got these cheeseburgers, man. I don't want any cheeseburgers. Please, man. I, I suck your dick. I jacked this shit from Bunkers, the Bunker TV. I uh, I took the clip from his his uh, you know his uh, take on the situation with uh, Emmanuel Achol Ng. You know that's his fucking name, and yes, he is an African. You know, like a total coon. I'm not tripping on that shit. I just wanna you know I just find my inner uh, my ghetto version of Neely Fuller. You know, as you can hear the siren going by. I am legit and shit from fucking, you know, the shy. I'm legit. All right. This is African man. He titled this shit just right, African Babble. You know, I don't want to talk about this this shit, right? Let's talk about it. I'm just laughing my ass off because this is like, you know, just if I count this nigga right here, you know, in front of you, if I count this nigga, this is the third fucked up nigga I have seen today and shit. I just saw a nigga with a fez on. I thought he was a nation of Islam and shit. You know, standard issue for Chicago, the South Side. You know, but uh, he was actually a, a, a guy uh, with a petition, and he was running for office. You know, he wanted to run for office uh, as a Republican and shit. You know, he wanted to get into you know local office and shit. And I talked to him, and while I was talking to him, a pookie came up. A pookie with mental issues, like definitely, definitely mental illness and shit came up, you know, seemingly bumming for money, but then the nigga wasn't gonna leave because I wanted to talk to this guy. I wanted to have some fun and, you know, talk to this guy and vet him and see what his political issues were as a conservative Republican in, in the south side of Chicago, which is like going through the worst blight and gentrification that I haven't seen in years and shit, you know? So I didn't get to obviously do that. I had to get the fuck out because, you know, when you from the shy, when you a son of this shit, you know when to get the fuck out, right? It was like late in the afternoon. And I know if it was a little bit later, that one crazy pookie was going to try me and shit. And then I'm going to catch a case because I'm a curb stomp the fuck out of him and shit. Probably have a heart attack and shit because of, you know, health issues. Fuck. So, you know, I came home. I did some yard work. And, you know, I, I come in here and open up my, my fucking, uh, open up my page and shit. You know, I see this video from Bunker TV. I say, hey, you know. I don't watch Bunker, man. He's, he's good as anybody, you know, in the afternoon. You know, he's a good, you know, afternoon chaser after the niggas I just saw, right? I know he was going to come correct. <laughs> and I just couldn't help myself for one night. I wanted to, I, I pulled the clip, and now I'm going to comment on it and shit. And I want to say, you know, niggas like this is why black people today don't have shit. And this niggas like this is why black people in the future ain't never going to have shit if they don't get it together and shit. And niggas like this is why I say that we have to lose two thirds of our current, uh, you know, population and shit for motherfuckers to really, really figure it out. That's niggas and bitches too. Excuse my use of these derogatory terms, but I can't find no other, you know, way to comment on it and shit after what I experienced today. So, so, uh, Emmanuel Achuing, you know, I think I'm pronouncing that correct and I don't give a fuck if I ain't. 
Uh, he's here talking up the Jewish situation and anti-Semitism. And we've heard this song and dance for fucking, well, all my life and shit, prior to it and shit, okay? And I'm not going to get into it with the small hat. I really don't want to that, that Yeezy business, you know, over here on my fucking page. They already going to get my page anyway. You know, I'm going to have some page troubles in the coming months. Trust me on this. I'm actually sitting on some videos right now that I know would get my page uh, taken down or at least two strikes. I'm sitting on that shit. Yeah. Yeah, hey, Emmanuel, man. Nigga, you make me laugh. <laughs> I wasn't laughing the other day when that nigga was talking about George Floyd and shit and blaming him for his own death, but you made me laugh and shit because you're the standard issue bootleg and shit. You believe that shit you're saying and shit. You're caping for, you know, a community that can take care of itself uh, times uh, 1,000 times 1 million and shit, economically and politically and shit. They got it covered. They own all the media outlets. They own your fucking image. Emmanuel Cho Inc. They own you, nigga. You are their property. Okay? You're their fucking property and shit. And regular black people have been trying to get niggas like you to, to uh, you know, stop being out of pocket and shit. Especially over here in the Shy, you know, in places like Atlanta and shit. In some parts of, you know, uh, uh, the East Coast. You know, been trying to get you motherfuckers to act right. But, like, I'm at the point where I'm done with that shit. Okay? I'm totally snake. Pliskin on this bullshit. I'm snake Pliskin. You know, I'm starting to see niggas and they tell me, oh, hey, I thought you was dead. You know, I'm like, I, hey, I am dead. You know, when it comes to this, uh, the fucking ethnic community and shit. Because these niggas is out of pocket and these bitches too. And that's why I have to use the, the derogatory term and shit. I don't want to say that shit. I can, I have a, a great command of the, uh, the English language. All right. I have a wide vocabulary currently and shit, you know. I have all my, my marbles in place, but you know, when I look out at you motherfuckers, you younger dudes, man, I just be like, fuck it, y'all gonna be picking that cotton and shit, I'm gonna be one of the first, you know, when they reinstitute slavery and shit, I'm gonna be one of the first casualties, I'm gonna be like, man, just shoot my ass, you know, and don't worry, some of y'all coming with me, you know, if I get opportunity, I will, I'm gonna take a lot of you, you homies with me, metaphorically speaking, oh, fuck, man, this is why... Our people don't have shit because of goofies like this, you know, people listening to them and shit because they speak a certain way, they have an authoritative tone and shit, but you're not really listening to them and shit. They're retarded children and shit. This guy is a baby. Like, if he was talking right now and shit, man, like, honestly speaking, like, I wish I'd show with some dudes, and he could be talking to me and somebody just put him in, like, a sleeper. You know, put him in the sleeper and just, like, like, you know... Put a blanket over his head and just drive him somewhere, you know, like drop him off at a daycare center and shit. Like, you know, for little kids, drop him off some little kids and like, oh, this nigga need to be re-educated and shit, okay? Don't worry. The ethnic community you want to cape for and you want to vet and you ultimately want to bend over and open your pussy to, they got it on lock, okay? They got it on lock. You don't got to worry about shit. They can... They can make or break you at the drop of a dime and shit. So they don't need one more boot licking coon and shit, okay? I hope they give you a conciliatory butter biscuit, nigga, okay? And I'm just laughing at your fucking ass. It's an evil, somewhat disingenuous laugh, but it's a laugh all the same because you're pathetic. All right, you're why we can't get it together and shit. We have to do some fucked up shit in our own community and shit. We need to all turn inward and shit. This is not going to happen though. We need to all turn inward and start closing the circle on you people. You know, coons and other dissidents in our own ethnic community that behave and move like you do. All right? You're goofy. Emmanuel, actually, you are not an intellectual, okay? You are... Uh, a standard issue uh, mindless brute all right that's what you are that is your that is your purpose and shit you know all right and don't worry oh the the community you cape for they promote that stereotype that you adhere to and shit you know you don't believe me you can go look at that new black panther movie they got that uh, big gorilla nigga beating on his chest and shit now go ooh, yeah that's you that's you, bro. That's how they see you when you talking to them and shit. You know, if their women ain't in the, you know, in the back room trying to get you to do something strange for no change. All right? And then they're going to they gonna drop a Me Too on you, bro. They're going to drop some allegations on you. You will ultimately fall, okay? And still be kissing. Are you the kind of nigga you could definitely 
uh, like, like, you know, kiss somebody's ass while you were falling and shit. You know, falling like a building on fire. All right? You are an African, okay? And, you know, I don't know what else to say. I <laughs> really don't. I don't know, but I just like, like, if you was talking to shit in like a room full of real motherfuckers, like, kind of like with my mindset, you know, I am a misogynist anarchist, literally, okay? And I, in my heart, I want what's best for our community, a complete reset, a hard restart, okay? Push the red button and shit, a reboot. We can't do it with niggas like you. So, like, I was sitting in a room full of like-minded niggas. It had to be, like, at least... 10, 15 deep, you know, including yourself and shit. While you were, we would ask you to go through your rhetoric and then you would get put in the sleeper hole while you were in the middle of that shit until you coughed up that butter biscuit and then you would go to sleep and you would be dropped off in, in, in a romper room somewhere and for somebody to re-educate you. You could see some sisters there, you know, some, some lionesses and they'll, they'll give you like a worksheet and shit and you could do your Iowa test all over again and shit. Start over and learn how to be a man. Okay, learn how to be a man and stand on your own two feet. Stand on your own dime. What do you believe in? Why are you volunteering for somebody else's shit? Okay, why do you want to be a foot soldier in somebody else's fucking army and shit? Okay, you might as well get some fucking white paint and paint the front of your goddamn face, nigga. I could. Me with directions to Grinshaw, man. Boy, you better get your crusty behind away from me. Man, I fucked your dick, man. What you say to me? I'll fuck your dick, man. Oh, man. All right, so what you want to do, my man? Go to the corner, go about three blocks down, and make a right, and go, you'll be go, right go, there on the